Alright, what's up guys? It's time for another video. I'm going to make this video while it's, while it's on my mind. Uh, I don't want to get the store wrong because I'm just, I mean, it'll be on the news again today, but I think it's a Starbucks or some kind of place like a coffee shop. I'll give you the link and then I'll just write in and correct myself, okay, because there's so many different ones I'm hearing on the news. I don't want to have a morphed uh, couple of different incidents uh, all in the one story here because you hear a couple of them, but this one catches my attention. The theme of it, if I get the store wrong, I'll write it in the caption or something, but think of it Starbucks. Okay, a good Samaritan, you know, comes along, uh, saves the day, so to speak. This guy goes into this, whatever the place is like, think of Starbucks, with a knife, trying to rob the place with a knife. And here's the, and here's the kicker about it. Uh, the guy, um, stops the they stop the guy all right this guy good samaritan beats the shit out of him okay well actually waving a knife around you know if he's gonna cut somebody and then or whatever and i think anybody watching i mean if you're sitting there in starbucks the guy just has a knife. You, yeah you're fucking right if you want to get a couple people and and restrain the son of a bitch yeah do it but this guy well when you're dealing with a knife you don't know if you're gonna get cut there's gonna be he's gonna put up a fight he might start swinging and if you use anything you can but if you have a couple of people get involved, you can grab and restrain them. But if you've got to hit them with something like use a chair to hit, hit them across the legs or throw it, or throw the chair, I mean, in some cases, if you're not a a Bruce Lee or martial artist, there are some story. There are some videos that um, like if uh, that actually had training for a store environment or bar environment. It's like street fighting. They advise you if you if it's safer to throw the store, the chair, fucking throw it, you know. But anyway, this guy gets under scrutiny on the news, and people are saying they're trying to charge him. And get this, the damn fucker is trying to sue him. The knife wielder is trying to sue him and say it's excessive force. Oh, he gets his ass kicked, right? So he wants. Oh, um, what's excessive force if somebody's gonna go in a place like if you're say if you're watching this, if whether you're in a bar or in a Starbucks. And you see this guy come in in a knife wielder, right? And uh, what are you going to do? A um, couple, couple guys or one guy decides to do something about it. You know, and kick his ass by all means, right? And uh, when a guy want, has the nerve to want, he has the balls to just try to sue and say it's excessive force. Uh, translation, oh, the guy's supposed to just sit there and cringe. Oh, he has a knife. I better do what he says. In his eyes, since he has the, the audacity to try to sue, the translation is, uh, I have a knife, you're supposed to cringe to me. Anything other than cringing is excessive force, so I should sue. Right, you should just give me your money, and I, should, I shouldn't even have, yeah, you, he shouldn't have to have the knife. I'm being really sarcastic here, can you tell, but uh, yeah, this... Any sane judge should throw that case the fuck out. Like he's trying, in other words, if any judge even and, um, gives him that, other words, when the guy, knife wielder's trying to sue, right, he's saying that he couldn't rob the money, so he's going to try to use the court system to rob the money, rob the money from the guy, the good Samaritan who kicked his ass, you know. And even if there's a little, I can... I wouldn't call anything excessive force when you have a when somebody has a knife if you're dumb enough to go somewhere with a knife too other than especially other than a guy well the guy's lucky that somebody didn't just shoot him if they didn't have a gun on him they could have pointed a gun and said put the fucking knife down and you know I'm gonna shoot you you know but uh he's like he's damn lucky he didn't get shot he has a nerve to try to sue the guy that that uh, that uh, kicked his ass Oh yeah, you couldn't get away. He couldn't get away with a robbery that way, so he's gonna try to use the court system to rob the person who kicked his ass. Uh, come the fuck on now. I mean, any judge to grant him that lawsuit, and if they do, if our, if the judge is stupid enough to do it, the guy who was the good Samaritan who kicked his ass should appeal the fucking thing. And. Refuse the fuck. I said, yeah, he should say, I ain't giving a red cent to that damn uh, bastard, you know. And matter of fact, the guy that was wielding the knife should get off the drugs and get real. He committed a crime.
he's lucky somebody didn't uh, that doesn't really give a damn just didn't up and shoot him or kick or do worse, you know. Soon, the fucking stupidest 